Selena Hatherley, you are the chair for the Society of Homeopaths and uh, of course it's an uh, honour, lovely to meet you in person. And you too, Atik. And um, I was going to ask you actually, it's been, I mean, into the main hall where the conference is being held, it's absolutely packed, isn't it? And that's so, so good. So, um, what, what are you, what's your take on this this year where so many attendees are, are present? Yeah, it is amazing. Um, I think because we've had so many years of virtual conferences online, um, on Zoom, I think people just couldn't wait for an opportunity to get together. And I think homeopaths would like nothing better than to be all in one room talking about homeopathy, listening to homeopathy, listening to people talking about um, complementary health care. And yeah, today is, a, is a testament to that. I have to say the work of the society is absolutely incredible and uh, it's really so, so good to be here on location, mingling, listening to the keynote addresses. It's just brilliant, you know, it really is. Yeah, the society, I mean, we, we, we're coming up to our 50th year and, you know, we're still out there. We're still the largest register in, 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 in uh, the country and one of the largest registers in Europe. And you know we're still up there with professionalism, bringing out the best homeopaths, supporting the best homeopaths um, that we've got. I must say, you know, as a host of a of the radio show, the Homeopathy Health Show and podcast, um, I talk to so many people around the world, and the society has such great respect. You know, every, anywhere I can mention the society, from here to South Africa to Canada to to Australia, whatever it may be. People have heard of the Society of Homeopaths and that, yeah, I mean, kudos, you know, brilliant. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I think, as I say, I think because we're known for our high professional standards, um, you know, for our support to members. And it's interesting, you know, if there's ever anything in the newspaper about, home, about homeopathy, whether it be good or bad, um, people often come to, you know, the press will often come to the Society for a comment because that's, you know, that, that people go to when they think about homeopathy and special homeopaths. And that's so, so important, isn't it? And I know that there's such a, an amazing support structure. I know Corinne, uh, the chief exec, was on at the Homeopathy Health Show a few months back, and um, she was talking about the support mechanism for students uh, in homeopathy, graduates of, uh, predominantly. And, you know, you can just pick up the phone and you can, if you need help and you need guidance, you need advice, mm. it's always somebody to talk to and that's so important, isn't it? It is. And not only that, we've now got this wonderful new website, all singing, all dancing with so much. There are so many resources for the student, not just for students, but for, for anyone, wherever they are on their journey as a, as a professional homeopath. There is support, there's information, there's talks. Um, there's masses of information and also stuff for the public too you know it's not just just for our members there is inf information for the public and we also have our register so if anyone's looking for a professional homeopath then we have a, an amazing register which not only tells you where the homeopath is but it tells you what sort of areas of interest they've got um, you know where they trained what are the what are the clinics they have um, so yeah, it's a, it's a mine of information. I love the new website, by the way. Mm, thank Honestly, you. so, so nice yeah, and so easy to navigate. It's a lot easier, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, you know, again, all credit to, the, to our team who worked so hard on that. Brilliant. Uh, wonderful to meet you. And uh, no doubt, sometime this year, you will be my guest on the Homeopathy Health Show. I look forward to it. Thank you.